Hello everyone and welcome to the first game brought to you by Ragoska in the Ragoska Open Tournament. Uh, this is going to be a Golden Bear, uh, rank 4 uh, diamond player, versus it was spawning in the northern position here on Shattered Temple, uh, versus his opponent, the 13th seeded Thomas in the silver division. Uh, this will be a Zerg versus Zerg spawning in close air positions, and as you can see, we are going to be seeing this Overlord high five in just a second here. And we look over to the approximate APMs of each of the players. We see Golden Bear up in the 140s, and we see Thomas here down in the 30s. But we'll have to see. You know, it's the beginning of the game. We'll see how everything gets going on. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the different matches, you know, play up versus the different ranks and things like that. So we'll drop down that APM tab. Um, for anybody who's unaware of how this tournament's going to be played, all these games will be cast by me and uploaded to my YouTube channel. And hopefully in the upcoming future I will be getting some uh, co-casters for a few of these games as well. Um, possibly when we get to some of the different brackets and even to the other uh, the other matchups basically like the, uh, the Final Four the Elite Eight and the Sweet Sixteen uh, matches as well. Uh, so if you're interested in co-casting with me, please post in the comments down below or on the StarCast forums, and I will see about getting you a slot. Uh, just have to have Skype available, and we can do it basically as a Skype call and get that recorded. As we see here, we do have the spawning pool starting down for both players. Uh, both players are electing to get their first gas right away. Golden Bear is just a touch ahead of Thomas as a uh, he's just now putting those guys in gas so so far actually pretty even from both of these players uh, we do have Thomas's drone heading out now looks like he is getting a drone scout uh, to go up there as well even though he does have his overlord in position can get a good scout with that as well so probably doesn't need to send that drone up uh, so that'll put Golden Bear just a little bit ahead economically but so far Thomas is in a supply lead right now with by one one supply currently uh, and it looks like he does yes send that drone in. Uh, possibly could even see some cheese. Uh, could definitely throw down a uh, spine crawler right when his uh, pool finished. And we got Zergling speed started now. And a baneling nest ooh, coming up from Thomas. So looks like he's going to be going for some banelings right away. Uh, but with these six Zerglings that are about to pop out, it could spell trouble for him. We will see. Um, definitely haven't checked a look at this replay before the match started, so I have no idea who the winner is of this game, but we will definitely have to see. Uh, Zerg, versus, versus, uh, excuse me. Zerg versus Zerg is always an interesting match to watch just because of how the players can um, do everything basically. You know, it's a lot of micro battles, but I guess it's that way with any real mirror matchup is there's a lot of micro battles that are going on. And we do have several Zerglings now heading towards Thomas's base. Uh, but with the Queen and the Spine Crawler up in time, he should be able to defend this quite well. Uh, we do have several Zerg or Banelings being morphed in as, as well. And with how he's got this set up, he's, he should be able to get some decent uh, defense coming here, as he does have. But he definitely wants to pull those Zerglings back, or those are going to get out of position. Yep, and he does pull those back. And the Banelings are now being morphed in. And I wonder if Golden Bear actually scouted that at all. If he saw those Banelings, he did. He did see the nest going down, so he does know that there are banelings there. Switching back over the everyone cam, we do have Thomas's forces here moving out, and these banelings will be able to do severe amounts of damage to these zerglings. Uh, Golden Bear will have to pull those away. Uh, we've got a little micro dance battle here going on. Uh, we do have an expansion also coming up from Golden Bear as well, and ooh loses one of those banelings to just one zergling kill. It's definitely not the way you want to lose those banelings. Definitely want to keep those out of there. Loses another baneling. Uh, and here comes another Zergling morphing in, and another Baneling gets lost. So it definitely looks like he's just using one Zergling at a time to kill those Banelings. The expansion hatchery for Golden Bear is now finished. We'll see if he gets another Queen being produced, or if he decides to keep going with the, uh, just sending in the one Zergling at a time, which, as you can see, is a pretty nifty tactic to keep those Banelings down. Definitely want to use just your Zerglings to kill those. And here we go. We do have more forces moving out here. It looks like he is trying to go for a run by. Will he be able to cut it off in time? Yes, he does manage to get that cut off in time. And another Zergling for a Baneling. So Thomas is definitely losing quite a bit of his Banelings just from lack of... There he goes. Now he's starting to use the uh, the Zerglings to, or the 
Baneling, or the Zerglings to kill the Zerglings instead of the other way around. And meanwhile, it looks like these Zerglings are going to be swinging around for some kind of counterattack. And we have these Banelings heading out to the natural as well, and he will spot that expansion. Morphing even more Banelings here on the map, and we do have Golden Bear now switching into Roach Tech. Banelings now entering into the main base for Golden Bear. Will he be able to get some drone kills? We will definitely see. And it looks like... Oh, so many drone kills. Oh, man. Thomas. Epic, epic drone kills right there. You get, Oh, man. We got to see what the current work is. Nine drones to 14 drones. Whew. That's going to be rough. That's going to hurt in the morning. Uh, meanwhile, we do have several Zerglings and some Banelings here heading into the main base. With these Roaches, though, they probably will be able to hold off that aggression quite easily. Uh, but we will definitely see Zergling speed is now being researched, and it looks like the Roaches are there. Banelings popping on those Roaches, not doing too much damage here, as they only do about 20 damage to non-light units. And it looks like is getting a good surround here with those Zerglings taking out a few Roaches here and there. Will this force get cleaned up, or will Thomas take the lead? Yes, it looks like Thomas does manage to come out ahead on that engagement as well. 27 to 20 currently supply. Uh, drone count sitting at 16 over 14, so it looks like Thomas is just in the lead. But with the second expansion from Golden Bear up and running, I don't know if Thomas will be able to hold off for too much longer. Both players look like they're just joining up right now, and Thomas is working on getting his expansion up. Uh, meanwhile, we do have several Zergling forces heading out towards Thomas's base. Does he have any defense up? No. No defense at all. This hatchery is going to go down. Definitely going to need to get that canceled as it is now getting surrounded. Here comes the surround, and... No, doesn't get a cancel on that. Loses out on the 300 minerals. Meanwhile, we do have two Banelings morphing in, and the Spinecrawler is caught out of position. The Spinecrawler is not going to be able to do enough damage. These Banelings are not going to get morphed up in time. And it looks like he is going to lose the Queen as well. Ooh, Banelings chase away those last few Zerglings. Queen survives with only 20 health, and Thomas decides to GG out of that game. So we have our first winner, Golden Bear. Alright, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next round, Golden Bear.